Oh, wow, it worked. In this video, I'm going to be trying out the Canon 22 millimeter prime lens for night photography and specifically for the Milky Way. This lens is meant for the Canon M series and for this video, I'm going to be using a Canon M50. A prime lens means there's no zoom. It's got a fixed focal length. This lens is fixed at 22 millimeters. This means it's still pretty wide that we should be able to get a lot of great night shots. Also, this lens has a very wide aperture. The kit lens that came with this camera, the widest aperture you can get is an f-stop value of 3.5. That works for most night photography, but in order to get the Milky Way, you need that really wide aperture. The widest aperture with this lens is two. That's a lot more light coming into your camera than it is with the kit lens. So in theory, we should be able to get a really good picture of the Milky Way. When you have the kit lens on your camera, this is the focal length when you have the lens wide open at 15 millimeter. You get a lot more sky. When you compare it to the 22 millimeter lens, you lose about one third of your sky. But I still think it should be wide enough. Normally wide aperture lenses cost a lot more, but this lens only costs $200 US or about $279 Canadian. And it's a very small lens and it's very light. And so far, that's what I really like about this lens. It's small, it's light, and it's got a really wide aperture. So let's give it a test shot. So I've already got the camera set up on a tripod with a lens on it. The first thing I'm gonna do is see how long I can shoot before you see star trails. Every focal length has a different amount of seconds you can shoot until you see the stars move. When you're shooting the Milky Way, you don't want any star trails. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the camera on. Now I'm gonna set the camera to manual mode. It's right here on the mode dial. We're gonna be setting ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Because I'm in the middle of nowhere Saskatchewan on a moonless, cloudless night, it's really dark here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set the shutter speed to 30 seconds. The next value I'm gonna change is the ISO. Because this is just a test shot, I'm gonna use a very low ISO. In this case, I'm gonna set it to 400. And the last value, of course, is the aperture. The widest aperture you can use with the kit lens is 3.5. But since this lens is so wide, we can set our f-stop to two. That's what we're gonna use for our test shot. If you're new to night photography with the Canon M50, I made an entire beginner tutorial about this camera and night photography on my channel. So let's take that test shot. So there are star trails when you shoot 30 seconds. So to get to Milky Way, we're not gonna be able to use a 30 second exposure. I sort of suspect with this lens and this camera, we're gonna to have to use a 20 second exposure to make sure we don't see any star trails. So let's change our shutter speed to 20 seconds. Now we'll take another test shot. That worked. At 20 seconds, we don't see any star trails. And so far the pictures are looking pretty good. Now we're gonna get set up to shoot the Milky Way. So now we've already established, we gotta use a 20 second exposure. And we're gonna use the widest aperture possible, which in this case, the f-stop value is two. The last thing we're gonna change is the ISO. Generally speaking, I usually shoot the Milky Way at 6,400, but we're also gonna try it at 3,200 and see if either one of these ISO values will work. Now I'm gonna walk over there and give it a shot. So the photo I'm gonna show on the screen is the picture coming out of the camera unedited. As you can see, it did it perfectly and the focal length just happens to be perfect for Milky Ways. Here's what the photo looks like at 3200 ISO. This camera and this lens actually did a very amazing job. And here's what the picture looks like with just a little bit of editing. And just before I shot this video, the auroras happened to come up for just a couple of minutes. So I went ahead and shot that as well with this camera. And after I'm done here tonight, I'm gonna to go take a few more pictures using this camera and lens. So I'll put those on the screen right now too, unedited. Because of the price of this lens, the fact that it's very small and very light, 
I highly recommend this lens for Milky Way photography and night photography in general. You can still use your kit lens for most night photography and get the wider skies, but when it's Saskatchewan dark, this lens is going to work just perfectly. In fact, the lens that I use most of the time, the Sigma 20mm prime lens, cost me $1,200 Canadian. This entire outfit together costs about the same price. I put a link to this lens in the description below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know. And thank you so much for joining me tonight.